For everyone joining us, welcome to another time in God's presence. Every time in God's presence is indeed a great and wonderful time. As we are preparing for this service, I pray that the Almighty God Welcome, man of God. I still see you didn't join with... Okay, now your audio is here. Welcome. We thank God for this hour. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Hallelujah. Hope the music no, is not too loud. No, it's not. Okay. So, uh, welcome everybody. We are right on time. This is... 11:58, and before we get mm. into today's service i have a special friend we've been friends since for a long time since teenage Lord, God. and i have a man of god a prophet here in the house with us who god has anointed and who god is using mightily so before we start today's program we have to commit everything into the hands of god because the reason why we're having this um service is only but to worship the king of kings and the lord of lords let's just begin to talk to god wherever we are in our offices driving at home let's begin to come everything into the hands of god that god who has brought us into this service will have a word for you and the word will come forth from the mouth of god that the oracle of God will speak and the word which has been dead to you will become alive. The word which has not made any sense to you will make sense to you. Let's begin to commit everything into the hands of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God will move even in this platform. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you, King of glory. My Redeemer, ancient of the days, he that make it away where there seems to be no way. Lord, we he worship that levels you. The mountain. We reverence you, King Jehovah. of kings, Lord of lords. We are I am that I am, the God of no Abraham, like Isaac, and Jacob, the God of signs and wonders. Let the valley of the valley, the bright and the morning star. We thank you, Lord. We worship because you, this is an hour of you. redemption. This is an there is hour no one of like you. There is no one this like you. This is an you. hour of deliverance. There is no one this like is an you. There is no one like you. Lega ho shada balaka tala da da. Ziga balada da do shada bika tata tata da. Hmm. An omega. Omega. Oh, you are Yahweh. We worship you, Adonai. Eh. We you worship you, Jehovah. There is no one like you. Oh, we bless. you are Yahweh. Mm. In this ministry, mm. you are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. Mm. Oh, you are Yahweh. Alpha. Alpha. Omega. Omega. Oh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Alpha. Let's just lift our hands wherever we are in a form of agreement. Just lift your hands wherever you are as a form of agreement. We agree to your work. We come together in agreement, in fellowship. Yes, Lord Jesus. That whatever that has held us captive, whatever that has helped us bound, be broken Whatever by the fire of the Holy Ghost. That has held you and your family. Let the bow shaka tala da bosha. 
Whatever that has caused you to weep. Whatever that has caused that man should say, Where is your God? Whatever that has made people to question the authority of God in your life. Jesus. And in this meeting, the Jesus. God that appeared in the burning bush will appear. Jesus. The God that consumes Jesus. fire. Jesus. That consuming fire yes, will appear. Lord. The consuming mm. fire will appear to your household. The consuming fire will liberate you from every circumstances. Yes, that Lord. Not to be moved. Da, 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 Those da, 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 ancient da. gates that have been locked. Today, they will be opened up. Those Yes. Lord, in this meeting, there will be a new renewal of covenant. Yes. For many of you who have forgotten your covenant you have made with God. In yes. this meeting, there will yes. be a new covenant. In yes, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Thank Amen. You, Father. For Thank in you, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we go, I just want to encourage everyone, please, please. Make sure you find a space where you can listen to this message. A quiet mm. space. Because the word of God, from the oracle of God, is about to come forth. So I'm going to give you two minutes to locate a place where you can be seated. So that when the word of God begins to come, after the word Thank of God, Jesus. prayers birthed by the Holy Ghost will also come. Yes. So that you will not miss out in that prayer section. Because before you can be able to pray, you need to understand covenants. You need to understand the word. Because it is the word of God in us that bet the prayer that we pray. But the Bible says when we know not what to pray, the spirit of God cries from within us. So I want to encourage you to find a spot right now. Thank you and God bless you. As I invite the prophet in the house, prophet Kenneth, Elijah, Elijah. The man of God. Glory to God. Glory to You're God. You're welcome, sir. We we'll bless the name of God for today. I want to appreciate God for this awesome privilege he has given to me to be here. And uh, I want to thank you, sir, for granting me the privilege You're to welcome. be a vessel God is going to use to reach out to his people. So. I do not take this for granted, but I count it a privilege. And whenever a privilege is given to a man, what determines your height in life is completely dependent on how you value the privilege that has been given to you. Amen. I came to speak in the name of the Lord and not in the name of man. I came to speak in the name of the Lord and not in the name of any man or any author. Though today has been so hectic for us, down here in Nigeria, this is already past six for us. And uh, I preached in two services today. Hallelujah. But by the grace of God, I am here to be a blessing to you. Because Amen. this is an assignment and a tax. God has placed in our hands. But before I continue, I want us to pray. Amen. We are all welcome. And uh, whether you are watching now or you are going to watch later, I pray that this message be a blessing to you. Amen. May this message bring transformation to your destiny. Amen. And may it bring hope to that hopeless situation in your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I just want us to have a time of prayer very briefly. In two minutes I will be praying and I strongly believe that prayer changes things. Yes, it does. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 18 
and verse 1. He said, men ought to pray and not to faint in their heart. Prayer is the supernatural key that unlocks doors, miracles, breakthroughs. If you look at the ministry of Jesus, Jesus had time to intercede and to pray for the tax ahead. I don't want to go outside the message we have today, but I just want us to pray. Father, we thank you tonight. Yes, we Lord. bless you for who you are. Yes, Lord. Thank you for what you have been doing with us. Thank you for what you have been doing for us. Yes, Jesus. We acknowledge you because you are Yahweh. Amen. You are Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah yes, Elohim. Lord. You are Adonai. Yes, Lord. You are Jehovah El Makadesh. Yes, Lord. We bless your name. We bless you, Lord. We praise you because you are the living God. Yes, Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. And let this message be a blessing to as many that are on and as many that are going to tune in a few minutes from now. Let this message be a blessing and let it be an open door to every door that has been shut against their destinies Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Lord. For we know that you have done it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today we want to be looking at a very significant strategic message in the beginning of every journey in life there must be what i call clarity of assignment and clarity of the journey whenever a man wants to undertake a tax the moment you don't understand the principle of that tax the moment you don't understand the root or the routine of the tax or tax, you won't be able to get to its appointed end or its desired end. Looking from the book of Exodus chapter 3, it's a very familiar story or a very familiar account in the Bible when God placed a mantle upon Moses to bring out the children of Israel out of Egypt. The Bible says when God saw the pain the children of Israel were going through in Egypt, according to the word of God, it said, and God heard them. He heard their cry. He heard what they were going through. He heard the perpetual struggling. He heard the perpetual pains they were experiencing in, the, in Egypt. And he said, there is need for me to come and because these are my covenant people. If you look at that scripture, I will be reading some verses. I don't want to deviate from the message from Amen. that same Exodus chapter 3. If you look at from verse 1, let me read from verse 1. He said, now Moses was tending the flocks of Jethro, his father-in-law. He said, the priest of Media, And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared in him, to him rather, in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. He said, so he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire. But the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn? So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called, him, called to him 
from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Now, this is the beginning of the story. Why I read this part of the, of the Bible is to help you understand that actually God was the one that called Moses to undertake this strategic task to bring out the children of Israel out of Egypt. Moses was only taking care of the flocks of his father-in-law, Jethro. Of course, Jethro was the prince of the Midian, according to the word of God. Moses never knew that there was a tax that was coming to him. He never knew that there is, there is, there is an assignment that was before him. Until God appeared. Sometimes when I look at the message, when I look at the topic of this sermon, I begin to wonder, why will God decide to take someone like Moses to undertake this tax? Then I did some research or research and I discover that the reason why the mantle came upon Moses was Moses was a covenant child, a child God has birthed to be a, a savior to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt. But ordinarily, outside the leading of God, there was no way Moses would have been able to accomplish that task. Outside the presence of the divinity, outside the involvement of God, Moses do not have the capability or the capacity to lead them. Amen. But when God, when Moses said to God, he said, when I get to Pharaoh, who will I tell him that sent me? Who is the person that I will say, oh, this is the man that sent me to undertake this task? Amen. And God said to him, when you get there, tell Pharaoh that I, I am sent you. Amen. Why? Because I am there with you. Why? Because you have my backing. You have my leading. You have every blessing, every potential word. Amen. And pronouncement is upon you to lead the children of Israel out of that perpetual struggle and pain. And I came to realize that one with God, there is majority. Amen. And if God be for you, no one can be against you. If God is in your boat, there is no way your boat can capsize. If God is in your family, there is no way your family can break it to pieces. Yes. When you allow God lead you, when you allow God go ahead of you, there is no, there is no mortar anywhere that can stop you. Amen. I was praying someday and God told me, he said, there are no hopeless situations in life. We only have people who think hopelessly. The moment you do not believe that God has the ability and the capacity to lead you out of that strange pain, you remain there. True. Sometimes the reason why many of us are going through what we are going through in life is, be is because we, we do not allow God go before us. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43. It said that we go before you and make the crooked paths to be straight. It said that we go before you and break in pieces the great of brass and cut in asunder the bars of iron. Amen. When God moves ahead of you, the journey becomes easier. Amen. When you allow God go ahead of you, the journey becomes smoother. When you Amen. allow God go ahead of you, lines will be falling not only in pleasant places. Amen. 
Because when God is for you, nobody can be against you. Moses was able to succeed in the task that God bestowed to him or placed in his hand. Why? Because God went ahead of him. Even when they came out of Egypt, God was still with them. He said, God led them by the pillar of cloud by day and by the pillar of fire by night. Why? The days of evil. There are wolves out there that are waiting to devour you. Mm. There are powers that are waiting to stop you. There are demons that are waiting to capsize your boat. But the moment you allow God go before you, it makes every crooked path to be straight. Hallelujah. The moment you allow God go before you, he breaks in pieces the brass of iron. Amen. Moses said to God, he said, Lord, I will not go, I will not undertake this task until you show me a sign. Until you show me a sign that actually you are with me. That was what Moses said to God. Let me show you something in the book of, uh, okay, let's look at verse 13. He said, yes, then Moses said to God, verse 13, indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and said to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they said to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? Verse 14. He said, and God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Amen. Moreover, God said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all congregation. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and said to them the Lord God of your fathers the God of Abraham of Isaac and of Jacob appeared to me saying I have surely visited you and seen what is done to you in Egypt and I have said I will bring you up out of the affliction of the Egypt of Egypt to the land of the Canaanites and the Hevites and the Amorites and the Perusites and the Hevites and the Jebusites to a land flowing with milk and honey. Now, when, when, when Abraham, or rather when Moses, wanted to go, even before Moses appeared to Pharaoh, he was having doubt in his heart that the children of Israel will not believe him. They will not believe that he had the ability to lead them. Therefore, he said, God, when I get to them, what am I going to say to them? He said, go and tell them that I am has sent you. I am whom I am. He said, the God of your fathers, the God of Isaac, Jacob, the God of Abraham is the one that has sent you. Go, for I am with you. Sir, can I tell you this? When yes, God is with any man, there is no raging storm that comes against that man that can swallow him. Amen. No matter the amount of fire that is being ignited, the Bible said, even when you go through the fire, sir, I'm with you. Amen. Even when you go through the waters, the waters will not overflow you. For I am solidly with you. Amen. When God is with any man, when God is your lead, when God is the captain of your ship, when God is the pilot of your plane, you can't crash. You can't fail. You can't be disappointed. Even when you are rejected, God will reappoint you. Amen. Why? Because he's the captain in your boat. I am here to announce to you that in the year 2021, 
If you can allow God go before you, if you can allow God go ahead of you, you will see a great difference in your destiny. Amen. You will see a great difference in your life. Amen. Things will begin to work out for your favor. And you will have the reason to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. God has never called any man to sematize the man. You are not called to face shame in life. You are not called to face disappointment in life. You are not called to face disgrace in life. You are not called to face frustration in life. But you are called to manifest the grace of God on earth. Amen. He said, I and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and wonders. You can only manifest the grace of God when you know the God that you are serving. When you allow God to be ahead of you. When God is the number one in the list of your priority. You can manifest grace. In Jeremiah chapter 29. He said, I know the thoughts I have for you. They are thought of good and not of evil. But to bring you to an expected end. Amen. When you start working on your own thoughts, that thought of God will be packed. I don't know if you understand me. When you yes, start sir. working on your own thoughts and you don't allow God to take the lead and you don't allow God to stay before you, the plan of God for you will be packed and you begin to work on your own deception. Mm. Why many people fail in life today is because they have refused to hear from God. They have refused to walk in line with the word of God. When you walk with God, you can't be frustrated. Amen. When you walk with God, you can't be disappointed. Amen. When you walk with God, you can never be stranded in destiny. God is a God of speed and not a God of rush. Amen. God doesn't rush. I was talking to some of, some of the people I was preaching to today. I told them, I said, look, God does not come in time and God does not come late. But God comes at the appointed time. Amen. God does not come too early and he doesn't come too late. So when you are working in your own description, you might not get the best out of God. True. In this year, 2021, allow God be your lead. Amen. Allow God go ahead of you. Amen. Allow God be the one that will rescue you from any form of captivity. Amen. Allow God be the captain of your boat. Amen. The moment God is taking the lead in your life, you can never be stranded. Take my walk. Look at the three Hebrew boys in the Bible. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The king Nebuchadnezzar gave a law. He said, no one should bow to any other God apart from the crouching image we have erected. And these three boys, because God has gone ahead of them and they have seen the miraculous work of God, they say, oh king, live forever. But we are starting to tell you this, that we cannot bow. We can't bow to this image. You know what shocked me in that scripture? He said, even if the God that we believe in cannot save us, we will not still bow. They can only make that statement when they have an understanding that the one that is ahead of them is capable to deliver them from every affliction. They knew that God has the power. To break whatever chain and yoke that King Nebuchadnezzar will erect against them. And he said, Oh, you don't want to bow. And they took them and placed them in the furnace of fire. The Bible said they increased the temple, they increased the velocity of the fire 10 times hotter and placed them into it. What happened? When they entered the fire, the fire became an air condition for them. Why? They believe in a man that is 
that that is called the consuming fire. Amen. Fire cannot burn fire. Amen. God is a fire of his own. The Bible says the, is the Lord that consumed by fire. He's the one that appeared when Elijah called upon him. When the prophet of Baal came to compete. Elijah knew that God can save him. Elijah knew that his God is the God that consumes by fire. And it's not the God that fails. And they believe and help them. How many will I mention? What about Daniel? Daniel allowed God went before him. Let me finish the story. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was placed in the fire, God delivered them. Not even a scratch of their body was burnt. Look at the story of Daniel. There is a decree. You know, one thing I've come to realize is that the people of this world, the God of this world, we always want to portray themselves to compete with our Heavenly Father. But they fail to understand that God in heaven is the one that created Everything that is existing on earth Amen. and everything that will ever exist on earth. Amen. The Bible says all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. Don't take any glory to yourself. Not Don't be the haste. Don't run. Don't run too fast. Don't run faster than your God. The moment you run faster than your God, you will crash. And God will be watching you, be looking at you. That is why it said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3, it said, call upon me and I will show you and I will answer and show you greater mighty things that thou knowest not. In this year, whatever you must do, make sure you seek the face of God. Amen. Make sure you allow God go ahead of you. Amen. Make sure you allow God be the captain of your boat. Amen. If you must not crash. When the decree was passed, Daniel looked at it and said, no. The man I've been worshipping is ahead of me. And he has been the one that has been making waves for me. I'm making waves. He said, no. I cannot stop praying to this God. And there was a conspiracy against him when he was caught praying. And what happened? They reported him to the king. And he was thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> but they forgot that the lion's den they are throwing him to. They forgot that the God he serves is the lion of the tribes of Judah. Lion can, a lion can never eat a lion. Can never eat his fellow lion. They threw him there. And the God that he served and he worshiped never allowed him to be frustrated. I pray for somebody hearing me this moment. Anywhere you are hearing me from, I decree upon your life today that the God that you have always believed in that the God that you have always trust and hope in shall go ahead of you Amen. in 2021 Amen. and shall make everything work out for your good Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Finally, before I conclude my message, I must let you know this, that I have read my Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I have never seen anyone that Allah God go before them and was put to shame. Mm. I have never seen anyone that Allah God lead them and was misled mm. at the end of the day. True. God will always be there for you. Amen. To rescue you, to help you. 
Amen. To, to, to end the, the, the voice that is speaking negatively against you. Amen. And I pray for you today that you shall not be frustrated. Amen. You shall not be disappointed. In Amen. 2021, you will not be stranded. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This year, this year shall answer to all your prayers. Amen. This year shall answer to all your heart desires. Amen. This year shall answer to everything that you believe. That miracle marriage is coming to you. Amen. That miracle job is coming to you. That miracle Amen. business is coming to you. Amen. God is opening multiple doors of financial increase Amen. in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't fail, don't fail to, to, to believe. Amen. Keep believing. For God is not the man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. The Bible says, has he, has he said a thing that he has not done? Whatever mm. comes out from the mouth of God will definitely come to actualization. I Amen. pray for somebody today. Let the God that have put this message together for you. May that God answer you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever they are holding that belongs to you, I see God releasing that prayer. You have prayed for a very long time now. I see God releasing it. And I see Amen. it manifesting in your life and in your family. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are getting that miracle appointment, that miracle open door, miracle. that thing you have been desiring. My Amen. God is going ahead of you and Amen. he's going to make it possible for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. I pray that we'll have, I will have I will have another time to speak to you and that it will be a moment of healing and deliverance. I pray for somebody today. Let this message be a source of change to your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, man of God. God, God bless, bless you, sir. So if you're just joining us, the voice you've been hearing is the voice of the Oracle of God. His name is Prophet Kenneth Elijah Elijah. Um, um, sorry, excuse me. Prophet Kenneth, how can people reach you if they want to reach you? Before you go. Well, they can, they can reach me on my uh, Facebook uh, account. Uh, right now, you can you can get me through uh, uh, Kenneth Emekalam. Kenneth Emekalam, that's my personal Facebook account. Or you can go to my Facebook page to check Liberation Assembly International. Liberation Assembly International. You can equally uh, find us there and get to our materials. And you can also send me a private message through that platform. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program. And before we get into the prayer section, I just want us to just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's just begin to thank mm. God for such a powerful word that has come out from, you know, his servant's mouth. Let's begin to tell God all the things we've been going through and mm. all the Start things in our hearts. This is a time to begin to talk to God. Patient of days in Manuel. England begin to bring out la, 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 everything la, 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 that has stood before you the bible Vasya says that god encountered la, 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 moses in the mount la, 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 of the lord in the la, 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 mount of prayer we are about to get into the mount of the lord in a place of prayer the bible says he was doing something else but all of a sudden god directed him Maybe right now you were just scrolling past this Facebook live, this YouTube live, but God directed you to stay. It is not a mistake. It is part of the agenda of heaven for you to stumble on this ministration because God wants to break you out from everything that has held you bound. Mm. Maybe your past has held you so bound. Where you come from, Jesus. you know nobody prospers in that city. In sure that place Jesus. where please nobody is successful and Jesus. you keep on trying your best but you don't know Jesus. That something has been said Jesus. that's where we study from it says a declaration was made a declaration mm. by a strong and powerful man a man of pharaoh 
had made a declaration. But we're going to be committing everything to the hands of God. We're going to be saying, Oh God, wherever I have been bound oh God. by declaration, wherever, wherever I have been bound by declaration, declaration has been made over this degrees. land, they said, All the Mas men in this Sato. land will not marry. All the men in this land are going to 40 years old and you're 29. The hour has come for every yoke. That has held you bound to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke, Amen. Wherever this yoke or whoever may be yours is that when they gave back to you, they took your umbilical cord to a shrine and they buried it there. And for years you've changed location. But nothing seems to be changing for you other than changing location, other than changing jobs. And it is the same story. Your first marriage failed. Your second marriage failed. In short, you are about to venture into the third one. But the same situation happens. This is an hour for you to call upon God. Oh, Father, arise in the midst of your people. Arise mm. and break every yoke, break every chain break in the name yoke. of Jesus. Everything that Let has that held your broken. people bound. Let that you go. Lord, we pray this hour. Every yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Every yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Everything that has held us down. Everything that has held us down. E kato sa palato seketia baba basa tia kapaladose enklado sa prandi sa tia kata masoto do do bosa tia kabaradose leda yog be broken every hand of the enemies sia baba sa karia bosa everything that has held us down of Jesus let them break let them break let them break let them break let, Let them break, rocks break, covenants break, declaration break, poverty break. Break by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let them break by the fire of the In the name of Jesus, Father, we call upon you. In the name of Jesus, over my family. And the word of God says, God appeared unto Moses and gave him an instruction. God appeared unto him as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Today we are going to be saying, God appeared unto me as the God of me. You're going to put your name, whatever your name is. Oh God, appear unto me as the God of Henry. Oh God, appear in this situation as my God. In the name of Jesus, appear unto me, oh God. Because Elijah understood what it means to have a covenant with God. The Bible says, when a declaration was made, they came unto Elijah and they said unto Elijah, Today we want your head. I don't know who says they want your head. But Elijah understood the God he served. And Elijah said, If I be a man of God, let fire from heaven come down. We are going to be calling upon that consuming fire again. I don't know who has declared that this year you will die. Maybe you were just walking on, on, on the streets and you offended someone and this person said, I will deal with you. And since that day, that person made that declaration, that person has taken your name before an altar and made sacrifice upon sacrifice. But today, every altar, every altar, every bad altar, every covenant altar that is not the altar of Jehovah, that is not the altar of Jesus, that is not the altar of God, we command such altars to break. Let all that break that on. Yanama Zoda, Eya Baye, Skaya Dosa, Eba Maya Nato Yada, yes, Yana Mose, Kayado, Maya Bola, Yana, Yana, Heavy Old, Heavy Old, Heavy Old, wherever they are. 
In the name of Jesus. Scatter by the fire of the Holy Jesus. Heavy altar. Heavy altar that has stood on our way. Heavy altar that has been speaking against us. Heavy altar that has been making us slaves where we ought to be priests. And God says to Moses, today, I am sending you before that chief priest. Today, Mm. I am sending you before that situation. Today, I am sending you before that Pharaoh. Today, God is sending you before that Pharaoh. But before you go before Pharaoh, you need to be equipped. You need to understand the God Mm. who has sent you. Mm. He said unto Moses, gather up the elders. Gather Mm. up the elders. You are in the gathering of the elders right now. You are in the gathering of the elders. And as you are in this gathering, God is saying we are marching forward before Pharaoh. Oh, Father, as we march before Pharaoh this hour, as we march before Pharaoh this day, as we march before Pharaoh in this situation, we command every altar, every altar, every declaration that has been made, let it be broken. Oh, Father, we give you glory. We give you glory in every situation. In the name of Jesus. Let's still turn to Exodus chapter 3. And we are still going to be praying from Exodus chapter 3. And we are going to be praying. Verse 19. It says, I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. Not by a mighty hand. We are sure that this situation will not change if not for a mighty hand. Somebody, you, your situation will not change if not for a mighty prayer. Your situation will not have changed if not for a mighty divine ordination. Your situation will not change if not for hard or what we call fire prayer. That situation will not change. You'll be praying. You'll be taking things lightly. But God says, Chair, I know that this priest, I know that this king, I know that this power is a mighty power. And if powerful prayers, if powerful declarations are not made to counter it, I know that situation will not change. But let's begin to talk to God. Every powerful king, every powerful declaration, every powerful man, that has come before us and have made a declaration. Father, this hour, we command such declaration to be destroyed. We command such declaration to scatter in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for such a wonderful hour to be in your presence, Lord Jesus. We thank you for such a wonderful day to stand before you. We thank you because our situation and our story is changing. We thank you because we know everything that has stood before us as a stumbling block is being taken away. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. Let's just begin to worship the King of Kings and thank him. Oh, my Kayadu. Kayado mama ye dala ye Father we thank you Ayado zadi kali baraye Oh Jesus anaye abaya naye Ayayayo ayayo ayaye Let's begin to pray in the spirit Am I you the are you are there was someone watching this life now right now and in your spirit you know for a long time depression has held your family bound for a long time anxiety has held your family bound 
For a long time, asthma has held your family bound. But God is bringing you out from that situation. God is bringing you out from that shame. God is bringing you out from that place. But God is saying you got to be in the place of prayer. God is saying you have to be in the mount of prayer. Aya, aye, 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 my aye. Every situation in your life is turning around for a good. Every situation is turning around for your favor. Everything is turning around. The blessing of the Lord is coming onto your household this hour because you have been in the mountain of prayer. In the mountain of prayer, in the mountain of prayer, in the mountain of prayer, in the mount of the Lord, in the mountain of prayer, in the mountain of prayer, in the mountain of prayer, in the mount of the Lord. Ayadu zati, na yadi, na yadi, riba basende, oda ya kayado, ilahande mazende. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for such a wonderful time in your presence. We thank you for all the healing. We thank you for all the deliverance. We thank you for everything that is occurring right now. Someone, you watching this live and you're praying for your healing. Your healing is coming your way. Your healing is at your door. Receive the help of God. You right now, you're watching this message. And your finances is going down. But right now, God is making a way in the mountain of prayer. And when you come to the mountain of prayer, it is not just words. God asks Moses to take off his shoes. Actions that accompany the words we speak. Actions. Take off everything. Take off every plan. Take off everything. God wants to make and have a conversation with you on how to bring you to a financial breakthrough. God wants to have a conversation and a plan with you on how to bring you to a new step. To a new Place to a new victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For everyone who is going through something, Lord, I pray for them right now that your healing, your healing power will go forth and begin to walk with them and begin to walk through them. As many who have been sick due to the pandemic, the viruses, and everything that has made their body and made their health decline. We ask that the Holy Ghost right now. Will go into your life, into your body right now, and there will be a transformation now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining me yet in another Sunday live worship. I'm really glad that you listen, and I'm really glad you're here because I know every word that God has spoken has become alive and active. The life we live is surrounded by the words we speak. So every time you wake up, speak a word of faith, speak a word of action, speak a word of miracle into your day. And God will continue to do the miraculous in your life. God bless you for tuning in to today's live service. And I remain Chimeres De Henry Ahunaya. God bless you. If you want to reach me, you can always reach me through Facebook at Chimeres Henry Ahunaya. And if you want to reach me on Instagram, you can always reach me at Preach AZ, which is Preach and AZ, EZE. God bless you as we've come to a close here. Before we go, let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father Almighty, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. I'm glad that you tuned in. Oh, thank you, Jesus.